Hey, Leo. Welcome to my channel. I was not ready. I need to shuffle up these cards just a little bit more. Um, Leo, this is your general reading for September. Yeah. So, um, we are uh, pulling cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, Leo. And then in the end, we're going to pull you some cool messages from the Philosopher's Treasure deck. It is full of beautiful quotes and inspiration, okay? And honestly, a little humor too. So let's see what we have going on for you guys in September. Messages for Leo for September. Exchanging gifts. Mm, I like that. Okay, all right. So I am kind of feeling um, that you have something coming in that's going to make you happy. Why do I'm thinking that? I don't know. But uh, you got exchanging gifts. So I do feel that um, something's coming in that will make you feel good. That's how I feel. And, um, and happy. I don't know why I feel happy, but I just feel happy. Right, let's see. I'm not sure why. But I just feel happy. Okay, so let's read card number 27. Um, Leo, so we can get you the full effect uh, of the message that Spirit has popped out of the deck today. So let's see what we have here. Card number 27, it says exchanging gifts. It says the law of giving and receiving currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. It says you are entering into a productive and enriching time when all matter of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experiences and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue, okay? You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value of others. <coughs> Excuse me, of the value of others. Be mindful of the value others bring into your life. So... This card has a lot, you know, uh, to say, okay, um, Leo, I know sometimes we can get lost, uh, in ourselves and the focus pretty much becomes ourselves and it may seem that nothing else matters, particularly when you're trying to, to do something, anything major in your life major changes or you have situations that you know abruptly change whatever the case may be and when life gets heavy or it gets stressful we can sometimes you know kind of say screw the world you know this is all about me i gotta focus on me i gotta do what i gotta do for myself and sometimes you know you can get uh, maybe um trying to think of the right word to use but you don't want to be uh, you just don't want to cut everybody else out. You don't want to be selfish. It's okay to worry about yourself first. But just remember that, you know, you're going to, if you want uh, to get, you're going to have to give. Like the card was saying, like there is even exchange, okay? So if you want blessings to come in, even during hard times, like, you know, you have to still um, give, you know, to others. Even if it's just your attention, your time. You know, in other words, like if you're having a bad day and, you know, you're driving down the street and you see some, you know, old woman in the beaming hot sun and, you know, you got time maybe to give her a lift, but she's just like, I don't got time for this, you know, uh, that, it's not my problem, you know, kind of a thing. Like, no, maybe pull over. You know, I get, uh, Leo, you could be having a bad day, maybe pull over and give her a ride. I don't know. It may have been like a really crappy uh, analogy or example, but um, what I'm just saying is, is that there's something that... Uh, the universe is trying to gift you with and I think that before this comes into fruition uh, there is some type of requirement 
um, from you. And it could be you just kind of stepping outside of yourself just for a little bit. You know, some of you, you know, maybe you need to do some community work or maybe what you should be doing is uh, community work or giving in some uh, way, shape or form. But I don't want to get uh, too far off of that. But uh, rather, this is you giving uh, to someone or someone giving to you. I do feel that the exchange of it all is what's going to bring uh, these blessings uh, in for you. So um, for some of you out there, you know, there's a beautiful cat in this picture. I don't know if you can see that kitten, but you know, it's a beautiful cat. So some of you uh, could dance, you know, uh, for a living. Some of you could have, you know, cat, cats <laughs> or any kind of pet, but specifically the card uh, has a uh, cat here in this picture, okay? Some of you, your favorite color can be uh, pink as well. Some of you can be 27, because this is card number 27. And some of you may also see uh, nines a lot. I don't usually get into all of that, but for some reason I felt like I wanted to say that, okay? So let's just see why exchanging gifts are um, gonna be the the focus for you uh, come September, Leo. So Spirit, why is exchanging gifts here for Leo? Man, oh, you definitely ain't getting something. So you got the um, Eight of Wands here. So you know there's some type of communication uh, heading in uh, for you guys, okay? Um, whatever it is, it's going to allow you to make progress um somewhere in your life okay it's going to give you you know some type of victory a leg up or um some type of satisfaction in some way shape or form i don't know why i'm feeling that but that's just kind of what i'm hearing so um and whatever this is that's coming in like if you're in need of something right now like in a serious need because maybe you've been juggling money um you are going to get help okay from somewhere so whether you're waiting on a call a letter a check in the mail there's going to be something here for you uh coming in september so if you if you definitely if this is financial you're going to be gifted uh with something uh financial if you have been juggling your finances right now so just expect for that to come in um um uh, this uh uh, in this in September, it's August right now. Okay, guys, it's actually like the 16th or something like that. But um, this card wants to come out. Yeah, uh, King of Swords. Expect like some type of communication. This could be from, of course, a masculine energy, uh, but somebody who uh, could be um, an air sign possible uh, for some of you, or uh, somebody who this could be legal as well um for for some of you so if you're waiting to hear something from court you could be hearing something from court in reference to money or again like i said this could be some type of male figure masculine energy of some kind but whoever this is i feel that um I don't know. I not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yes, this for some of you. This is ugh, could be from your parents, of course. All right. So we got. It definitely could be an air sign that may offer you something here, Leo. Okay, because we have the star that just popped out, and we also have the uh, Queen of Swords. So this is strong communication. Okay. Um, and we do have a couple here, so this could, for some of you, this could be someone that you are involved with uh, in some way, shape, or form. It could definitely be like your parents. Um, it could be like, again, someone that you're involved with or definitely another air sign. We got a lot of air energy, you know, here on the table. And I also feel that, you know, what this communication, tons of communication here. So you, you guys, if you're waiting for a message, just know that it's coming. I'm not going to say it again, but just know that it's coming. I'm not going to keep repeating it. But, um, if you've been like, oh God, I hope this person helps or I hope this person comes through, you know, with the star here, they're coming to the rescue. Okay. I'm sorry you guys can't really see these cards okay if I, uh, that helped a little bit not much but yeah a little bit yeah whatever all right guys so what else let's get one more let's take that oh man it's coming in quick 
the Knight of Swords. Y'all see all this community? Y'all see all this communication? Oh, you got the sun on the bottom of the deck. So like I said, something, and didn't I say earlier, something's going to make you happy? Yeah, the sun is all about, you know, happiness, you know. Um, I just kind of feel like, I just wanted to say, like, you know, be positive right now. Like, lift your head up. If you're, like, really going through something right now, just be patient, right? The Knight of Swords, like, your communication that you want is headed your way, all right? You got too much air here, all right? We got the Knight of Swords, we got the Queen of Swords, we got the King, you know, of Swords, and we have the star. There's a lot of air energy here, lots of communication, okay? So, and, lot, and you could be thinking about this a lot too, like, I need this, I need this, I want this, I want this. You know, don't, don't be so, so needy on it. You don't have to beg, you know, the universe will give it to you, you know, if you ask and then just believe, okay, with the star here, just ask and believe that what you need is going to come in. And again, like if this is legal, because it definitely could be legal for some of you, you're going to be happy, okay? So this is going to work out um, in your favor, okay, guys? All right, moving on. So someone's giving you something whatever it is you need it and it's going to make you happy or it's going to help five of cups yeah definitely um that's sorrow sadness deep sorrow right um you've been thinking about this a lot seriously it's been you know pretty much like in your head you know but i think you need to just quiet down okay about trying to figure out how this is going to work for you whatever this is if it's money I think it's money you know just quiet your mind everything is okay you don't have to be sad about it um you're gonna be all right. All right, what else for Leo? All right, y'all think this one wanna come out? I think so. All right, what do we have here? Nine of Pentacles, facts, do like nine of Pentacles, like everything is gonna be okay, you're not alone. All right, and nine of Pentacles can kind of represent, you know, that single energy, uh, but you know, you're not alone, everything is okay. This one wants to come out, let's take this one too. Three of Pentacles, yes, someone's gonna help you. You know, someone's going to come in and, you know, help you uh, work something out, okay? And it's going to help. It's not going to be, you know, something like petty. This is going to be something larger, worth some type of quality, you know, or of some of some kind or quantity or in quality, I feel. So, um, someone's going to help you. And some of you, yeah, yeah. you'll be working with somebody that's going to help you here, okay? And it could be your parents, like I said, for some of you. Uh, Six of Swords, yeah. So whatever this is that you, you know, have been going through, you're legitimately, like, leaving it behind. You know, you're going, you're coming out of, you know, a very uncomfortable or trying time right now uh, with the Six of Swords. Okay, you straight. <laughs> you're going to be straight, Leo. You know, whatever it is, it's, 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 it's coming. You're, you're coming out of it. September is going to offer you a breath of fresh air, okay? So just hang in there. All right, hang in there. Ten of Swords. You got lots of sword energy, lots of sword life experiences. Hmm. All right, so we have card number 16, which is a seven. This is spirit watching over you, okay? Just so you know, sevens to me are very spiritual numbers. When I see seven, I see spirit. When I see threes, I think of the universe, you know, I just feel that, you know, threes and sevens are, they just, to me, you know, scream like the universe, you know, I see sevens all the time. And I, when I see it, it just is a reminder for me that, you know, the universe is, is, is on my side and he's, it's, it's definitely uh, on your side too. So you got card number 16, which speaks about life experiences and who is a, who is better to teach us about our life experiences than the universe, right? It's all about balance. It's all about judgment, you know, review, you know, over your decisions and things like that. And some of you, excuse me, um, could have been, could have made some decisions that kind of put you in this place, okay, of needing help, you know, from, from someone else, you know. So it says here, a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So this is bringing you out of whatever it is that you've been put in. And here we go with this 10 of swords, okay? This is, it's a wrap, 
okay this is death of this is the death of something this is an ending of something as far as i'm concerned you know the ten of swords reminds me of the death card and the card says the end of a difficult situation exactly embrace the change and expect things to get better now that's what i was saying expect things to get better now yeah yeah no, sorry, I just killed that thing. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me move on. So, yes, so recovery from an addiction. So, some of y'all probably drink, smoke, probably just a little too much, but you know, this is not what I'm feeling uh, in this card. This is the ten of ten of swords. This is the end. Okay, fist pound. Okay, this is the end. So just woo side, take a breath, Leo. Okay, get back in that sun energy. Where that sun card go? It was right here. It was on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there it is. Get back, get back in, get back in alignment. <laughs> Yo, come on, you can do this. Okay, you're gonna be just fine. All right, guys, I'm out. So let's get you some final messages for you. I like this. Don't you guys like this? Um, it's nothing like a fresh start. All right, and that's kind of what I'm feeling this is. This is legitimately a fresh start. And in the end of this, you're gonna get what you need. Um, you got the uh, Nine of Pentacles here, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna get back into your, your, your beautiful self and things are gonna work out uh, magnificently uh, for you guys. So let's see, what else for um, I wanted to flip over. We're going to take it, but it kind of cheated. Um, you know, so, yeah, that's what I like. I like falling to fly out. All right, what else for Leo? Okay, we got a flipper, so we're going to take it. All right, so your three messages are behold, behold, calm down, behold, help is on the way. The universe is going to come in and it's going to turn up for you guys, okay? No worries, just chill. All right, we also have, you can conquer whatever you think you can. So you can conquer whatever you think you can, uh, Leo. Of course you can. You're not, you're strength, you're the lion. It says, let things be simple as they really are. So don't stress, let things be simple. This too shall pass, help is on the way. It says, let it all go and see what stays. Let it all go and see what stays, Leo, okay? So this is your reading for um, September. I like it. It just has freshness, newness, right? You got gifts coming in. You know, you got blessings coming in here with this nine of pentacles. You have help that's on the way from spirit. Help from somebody uh, around you is going to help you with something. And this could be different, you know, to different magnitudes or levels for some of you. Um, it could be something small for others of you. It could be something big and for others of you This definitely could be something legal because you got too many swords here. You got swords everywhere. Okay um, So whatever it is that's been haunting you hurting you distracting you and preventing you from feeling like yourself um, It's out of here come September. Okay, so thank you guys for watching uh, Like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video